a good Wednesday morning. Some hit and miss showers and storms yesterday afternoon bubbling up on what was a very hot and a humid day uh, this morning. We've still got some of that humidity out there. Temperatures once again back into the lower 70s and we've still got that haze live view from Carbondale this morning showing some of that off in the distance. 71 degrees. We've got two points back in the upper 60s and low 70s. Kind of sound like a broken record, right guys? I mean, we've been saying this every morning this week. We've got some changes on the way over the next few days. We do expect more storms than what we've seen maybe over the last couple of days, especially later on this afternoon and into the evening hours and even more wet weather on the way for Thursday. So if you're still one that is needing some rain and I know there's still a lot of spots, especially into southern Illinois and southeast Missouri that could use some of this rain. I do expect widespread showers and storms to rumble on through over the next couple of days. It's all along a cold front. Eventually that cold front sweeps through ushers in some very, very nice weather by the end of this week. Now this morning showers and storms are still to our north out across parts of uh, central Missouri back into central Illinois where we've really been tracking all of this wet weather for much of the last week or so. High pressure into our the southeast right now, so we've still got a light south wind around. That's going to be pumping in more heat and humidity this afternoon. But a slow moving cold front to our north, it's going to take its sweet time to get on in here, but we are likely going to see uh, showers and storms increase out ahead of that. By the lunchtime hour, still a couple isolated showers and storms possible. You'll notice though, as we head into the heat of the day, these become a lot more scattered about, and uh, we do expect quite a few of them to be around this afternoon, much like what we've seen over the last few days. You get caught in one. Well, some heavy rainfall, some thunder, some lightning. I can't entirely rule out an isolated strong storm later on this afternoon and around sunset. We start to at least see the intensity of some of these go down, but another wave of showers and storms in here on Thursday morning. These to be look to be pretty widespread Thursday morning and really through much of Thursday afternoon. Finally, this cold front settles south. It's going to get rid of the rain and usher in some cooler air by the end of this week as well. But uh, the Storm Prediction Center highlighting parts of southeastern Illinois today in a level one main threats would be some strong damaging winds. I think that's going to be pretty isolated. I am a little more concerned though that uh, some of these rain pockets could be quite heavy. Not everybody's going to pick up on heavy rainfall, but uh, some of these storms could quickly drop an inch, possibly even two inches of rain over the next couple of days. Big cool down in store for us. Beyond that though, we expect temperatures to fall as we head into the end of this week and into the weekend. We stay there. Of course, track those showers and storms today on that storm track three app. So about a 60% chance of wet weather later on today and even more widespread rain in here on Thursday. But here comes the cool down and continuing to remove the rain chances for the weekend. So some very pleasant air moving in and some sunshine uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, temperatures back below average. Now, of course, when we make our way towards Monday, temperatures bounce right back up close to 90 as things will start to heat back up. But uh, we're going to kind of uh, luck out here, it appears, with some beautiful weather for a holiday weekend. Mm. Beautiful weather. That's yeah, what we're I, I mean, this time of year, you're talking about July 4th. It could get really hot. I know, right? <laughs> we're talking 80 degrees. Ooh, that's pretty good. Thank you, Nick.